Hi. So there are four tiers of gestures you can perform on your trackpad, and each tier has a different number of fingers associated to them. Um, if you just want to know where the menu is, you can follow this timestamp, and that should take you to where the menu is. So you can skip the video and do it yourself if you prefer. If you don't want to do that and want to stick around, thank you. And uh, yeah, I'll just show you um, in, uh, what happens in each case and how you can use them in different scenarios. Um, I'll just give you examples. Okay, so let me show you first how to get to the menu. So, and then we go into uh, Bluetooth and other devices and we get to the touchpad here. Uh, so we start with the video itself. Tier 1 is the tier that involves only one finger. Obviously, you know how to navigate the system or use the touchpad by moving it around. That's fine. You can change the cursor speed here. Um, you can leave the touchpad on when the mouse is connected. I do that very often. Actually, I do it all the time because it's actually quite handy uh, during gaming sessions, uh, as you'll see later. Um, taps. Taps are also very important here in all of the tiers, not just the first one. So you have your normal tap to click instead of the normal press. You can also tap that, you know. Um, if you press, if you tap with two uh, fingers, then that's the right click. So here, uh, if you double tap and then move around, you can select elements. I have un uh, unchecked this one because I like the idea of being able to press anywhere. Even if I press here, I it's always a left click, never a right click, right? So um, I press here, right? this is now a uh, left click. So everywhere I touch is just left click. Whereas if I want to use the right click, then I just press with the two taps and that's my right click. So that's fine. Tier two involves the usual gestures. So up and down, left and right. You also have the pinch to zoom like in phones, right here, make it smaller, make it bigger. So tier three now. Tier three now. Uh, we move on to the more useful gestures. Well, um, if those ones were essential, these are useful. So three finger gestures. You probably use them already. Um, I have selected the switch apps and show desktop. That's because it's actually quite cool to just pull down with three fingers or pull up with three fingers in order to uh, show your desktop. Right, and then display the apps again. Um, the most useful out of these is the gesture of three fingers left to right, because that allows you to multitask incredibly fast. Right? Uh, you can imagine if you have only two uh, app tabs open, right? If you, only, if you only have two tabs open, then what happens is you can switch between them really fast by simply doing this. Okay, I have more than one open here, so obviously it will just go through whatever I choose. But if you have only two, this is incredibly useful during gaming sessions. Um, where, for example, you have, you're gaming and then your friend sends a message, you can quickly jump into Discord here, and reply and go back to the game with one swipe. Okay, that's pretty useful. I know you can use uh, keyboard shortcuts, but um, it's not as handy sometimes. I also had the three finger taps enabled. That allows me to have a uh, scrolling wheel tap, and I'll show you what that does. So, you know, normally if you want to have more than one page open uh, from a certain, say, for example, when I uh, open this, I'll do a right click, open new link. What the wheel scroll click allows you to do is to simply press, and that does the same thing. So, right click, and then open new page. So, for example, here, uh, say, I want to um, open this, open this, whatever. And this, um, I clicked here, I say, and this, then all of them will open up here. Now, the use case here is if you are a person who sort of searches a lot of papers uh, for like research, then it's incredibly handy to just being able to just click, click, click whatever page or whatever article you're interested in and just scroll through them as you go instead of right click. Okay, it's, it's very niche, but you know what I mean. It's, it's quite handy if you get used to it. Tier 4, now this is one I uh, shamefully discovered a bit too late. Um, so 
With four fingers, I have this option here, enable change audio and volume. That's because I do that a lot, change the audio fairly quickly. Say, for example, a person wants to ask me something when they enter my room, I so quickly reduce the volume so they can, so they don't feel disturbed when I ask the questions or whatever. During gaming, there are a lot of sessions, you just turn the volume down very quickly. There are all sorts of, things. say you're listening to music, suddenly a song, I don't know, has uh, for some reason a very high volume, you just uh, mute it very quickly. Yeah, so this is also a very quick mute button. So you can see here, I can go from mute to high very, very quickly. For the taps with four fingers, I have launched Windows Search, which is how I got to the search bar uh, so quickly at the beginning, and then search for how to get to the menu. You don't actually have to, have to move all the fingers, you can also just move one. So if I move this one here, or if I move this one here, it's also possible. The same applies for uh, when you go up and down, I think, yep. So you can see when you go up and down with two fingers, it's kind of fast, but when you go up and down with one finger only, with the other one still pressed in here, you go up and down slower. So that can be handy in some situations. And the same thing applies here, if you use one finger only, whichever finger, then you can increase it or decrease it very slightly. But if you use all of them, then you can, but it's just more sensitive to it. So one finger, if you want to do that. Uh, some laptops also allow you to have the two fingers scrolling, or three or four, right? And then still allow you to lift the finger and then continue with one finger, if if you're more comfortable doing that. I'm not sure all laptops allow that, but uh, this is what we get. So I hope this is useful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hopefully something a bit more useful than this. <laughs>